Did you see it, Jason? What? The Street Fighter 6. Yeah, I saw the, I, I, I saw the state of play. Right. Uh, did you? Do you have any thoughts on it? Um. Fun, per, fun games ahead <laughs> of times. I don't know. <laughs> I like the character designs. It, it, it's cut. I I need to get used to um, uh, Ryu having facial hair, but. Right. Yeah, if you played Street Fighter Five, you would know about the secret, the special hot Ryu costume that gave him a beard. <laughs> All right, we go. Deep dark, golden leaf, beach bowl, dusty mm. dune. What's not in Battle Rock? Um, Grab who you pick. Yeah, most of these are, are like uh, go like exploration coin uh, coin missions. Yeah, Scrappy, you can pick. Yeah. This is Battle Rock. All right. This is basically the. Uh, the, um, uh, Dreadnought's, um, easier cousin, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it. So, yeah, Street Fighter 6 looks rather interesting, um, yeah, the quote-unquote open-world uh, adventure mode, or I'm gonna call it. Yeah, seems like it's a modernization of Alpha 3's world tour mode. Makes it look like that. Sports games, career mode, and Mortal Kombat's old conquest mode. Hmm. I've heard. I, I've also heard that like um, the Street Fighter games have been like prequels for a while, and this is like the first actual sequel since like three. I don't know if that's true, but that's what that's what Aaron told me. Based off of the um, character details, and this is like some of this is. Pardon me. Based off of designs and just some background details we've heard, and a few of the character endings in Street Fighter V, yeah, it seems like we're finally getting like a post, a post Third Strike Street Fighter. Mm. Is that always? Is like that the, been the last game in the timeline? Yes, the chronology of the series is Street Fighter One, the Alpha Trilogy, Street Fighter Two, Street Fighter Four, most of Street Fighter V, and then Street Fighter Three. That's really good. I, yeah, I was talking about this with Aaron and Lewis the other day as well, but... Okay. Uh, I like how there, there are these, like, these franchises that, um, have, like, clear numbered games, but <laughs> they're, like, not actually the timeline order. Yeah, Resident Evil, Devil May Cry. You are using a fan of Capcom? Yeah, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I know Mega Man is in like numbered order. Where Where is it? Yeah. And then really, Kingdom Hearts three is more like Kingdom Hearts eight, but or like whatever number it is, I don't even know. Oh, oh, well, that was easy. Yeah, it, again, it, it's, um, this, this was, like, this is the much more relaxing Dreadnought star. It's, um, a lot more simple. Although I did have a few close calls where, like, I just didn't grab a coin for some reason. So, yeah, Street Fighter 6 looks fine. Um, I was, uh, <clears throat> I was worried about the shift to a more realistic art style, but it seems to actually be looking quite nice. Mm. Yeah, it um, does look nice, yeah. I, I mean, like we it. got, I mean, we got the cool dad Ryu, so... Yeah. I'm just happy Chun-Li actually has new clothes, and she's got rid of those awful spiked bracelets. Yeah, I might as well do Absolutely. this now. What'd you say, Jason? But the spikes are her thing. Hmm. Not anymore. I do, yeah, I do like Chun-Li, uh, Chun-Li's uh, design in Cirques. I like, I like, I like hot, I like hot dad Ryu. <laughs> oh, uh, I get... Uh, when do you guys? When do you guys want to? Uh, well, Jason, you and uh, you, Nick and Xavier, uh, want to do Spider-Man Three? Because yeah, that can. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're night, yeah. Yeah, because it's like quarter, quarter to twelve now for me. So, oh good, it's one of these. Um, uh. I love this theme though. I like a news theme. <laughs> I 
That's the funniest way I've heard <laughs> someone talk about that. It's not bad, I'm just... No, no, no. Like a news no, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, okay, it's just the... Eating, sorry. Mm. Yes. And now... This is the part I hate, because I can't tell where I'm supposed to be jumping towards. Okay, there we go. Wahoo! Okay, we got like 10 left, so... And how how long do you guys want to go on for? Um, done, right? well, we gotta make the last session let, let, let last, so... <laughs> right. I guess we can just do, like, one more. I mean, yeah, uh, when we have to go fight Bowser again, I'm probably just, just gonna cut until, like, the end, because th there's no real point to showing that again. Here's a question, actually. Um, when we... In order to unlock the Luigi Galaxy, do we, don't we need to beat the final boss again? Yeah, that's what I mean. That, that's why we have to do the um, final Bowser stage again. Alright, we've got some. Okay. Go uh, so, Jason, you got. Being Smash Brothers off. Hmm. Might be. I don't think it's a Smash Wii U, but. The Galaxy theme is just. With the Galaxy theme arranged. Uh, I'll do Melly Molson. Is it here? Uh, Jason? I'm here, sorry. What's okay. up? Sorry, I got distracted. Hmm. What's the question? You asked about the credit theme of Galaxy 1 being in Smash Brothers, and my response was, I don't know. It's. Definitely not in Smash Wii U. Mm. Yeah, I think it is in Ultimate. I, I don't know. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've looked at uh, Smash's soundtrack. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Street Fighter 6 looks alright then. It looks fresh. Mmm. Yeah. I'm not one of those Street Fighter 4 and 5 looking exactly the same kind of people, but... <laughs> I mean, I, I, come from a, I come from a place of ignorance. I know, like, nothing about the series. <laughs> I, I I grew up playing Street Fighter 2. Hmm. Is that red mushroom always there? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, something about the game feels... I don't know, it just feels rejuvenated, I don't know. Mm. Yeah. The guy who doesn't play, like, traditional fighting games with any regularity. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know, I'm just appreciating Ryu and Chun-Li actually having notably different designs for once. That is cool, yeah. I do know one of the, what is it? From what I understand, one of people, people's complaints of 5 was the the fact that, like, at launch there wasn't a lot of characters, so... Hopefully... There wasn't a lot of- much of anything, really. Yeah, I, I've heard 16 something 16 was that. fine for making- for, for entirely new assets. Mm. Like, Guilty Gear Stride doesn't have a particularly large launch roster, either. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how people feel about 5 now, but... I do remember when it came out, people were not so hot on it. That's because Capcom released a glorified beta. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's not, I guess there's the whole, like, deal of um, people saying, oh, release, stop releasing games, quote-unquote, unfinished, or whatever. I don't know how you guys feel about any of that, but I, I've noticed, like... I don't have a game finished, but it's just like... I, I, I guess it depends on how much content there's still in there is that's launched. Yeah. Street Fighter V did not have an arcade mode at launch. <laughs> mm. 
Right. Yeah, that, oh. okay, yeah, that's a bit much. But, uh, there's a lot of um, Nintendo games that do the whole, like, update thing, and um, I've noticed, like, recently there's just been a lot of people that have been, like, really upset about that. Um, I, I don't really know how I feel. Uh, I Usually, I think it's been fine. Um, I, I don't know. Do you guys have any thoughts on that? Case by case basis. Uh. I'll, right. I, it's like I said, as long as it's, I, as long it depends on how much content we actually get to start. Yeah. I do think some people like over, like over exaggerate a bit, but I do kind of get it. Well, I get it too. That's why I'm kind of like on the fence. Yeah. It's dependent on how what it launches with, what it gets eventually, and what mm -hmm. its predecessors launched with, I guess. Yeah. Like sometimes I kind of hit or miss on like how Splatoon does it. Yeah, I do think Splatoon does it better than like most, at least. But even like I, I'd say even Splatoon could like um, do things a bit differently. Like I. I, I've never been the biggest fan of how they, the matchmaking system works in the sense of like there's only like what two or three stages every hour or so. I've never been a big fan of that. I don't know how you can do it differently so don't ask me but I I would prefer if they did something else. If I knew what matchmaking was like I might have an, might have an opinion on that. Mm. So um case by case basis um yeah like ultimate was obviously a complete game a content full game out of the box but yeah, yeah it was missing a few general staple modes of the series even if i didn't use all of them i think the ultimate is um it's easier for me to be like to not like criticize criticize it for that game because of how huge the game is already um so the um Having home run contests and stage builder back felt more like a bonus, um, but yeah, it did feel weird to not have them. Yeah, you know, I didn't do the coin battles that often, but it's weird to not have them. Yeah, it's weird. Like, it's it's funny how like melee is the only game in the series that has like four different um, versus mode op like regular verse mode versus mode options. And Ultimate was like the one game that could have like done that as well, but for some reason they just got, got rid of coin battles. I don't know why. No idea. Possible just, they just didn't have. Possible just didn't have. Possible they just had player data that said it wasn't used often. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they just didn't think it was worth come like bringing it back. I don't know. I I'm do, sure yeah. when Smash Seven releases, they will advertise their return of coin matches just for fun. Yeah, maybe. Um, like, uh, yeah, Ultimate's special modes were generally just added free, and Street Fighter Five stuff was added free if you were willing to grind for the fight money. So, mm. oh yeah, I guess we should do the storybook. I don't know, man. Story time with Scrappy has taught me that unfinished stories are the best ones. <laughs> um, we're yeah, gonna wait so... when's the next return session again. Uh, probably Saturday or Sunday, or maybe Monday. I oh, if it's tomorrow, know. then I'm gonna have to get ready for like a bunch of game for you guys. I don't even know what we're reading. Oh, drama Equestria. Oh, good. All right, I guess. I, and oh yeah, I think I said I was doing Paper Mario. Yeah, I think so. All right, you guys read this one. Go ahead. <laughs> After eight. Though usually quite cheery, one day the girl became sad again. Luma drew close and tried to try she said, tried to comfort her. Mama, you still have me. And don't be sad about your mama, because she's a part of you. That means she's always close by. It's like me. I love star bits because they remind me of my mama. Aw. No. No. The girl said, unable to stop the tears. <laughs> Ew, put your mouth away. <laughs> yeah. A lonely look flickered across Luma's face, but it was soon replaced by a wide grin. I have an idea. 
I will transform into a comet. A soaring comet that can carry you all on this journey. But then she'll really be alone. Yeah, right. With that, excuse me, with that, Luma, trailing, trailing bands of white, soared high into the sky and just as quickly started to plummet back down. Kaboom, kablam. <laughs> the ground shook and a bright light poured out of the crater, crater that the Luma had created. The bands of light twisted together to, 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 to twisted hmm. together to form a comet tail. And then Luma emerged, reborn as a comet. A Frank's a comet. <laughs> oh no! Ruining this. The girl could scarcely believe her eyes. <laughs> but how? He kept asking. Our destiny as Lumas is to transform into different things. Said a red Luma who had suddenly appeared. Stars, comets, planets, we can become all of these things. When I grow up, I want to become a star that makes someone special smile. Said a green Luma. A blue Luma chimed in. That Luma turned into a real cutie of a comet, didn't he? What kind of line is that? Yeah, right? <laughs> All the Lumas together said, No more crying, Mama. Look at all of them. Thank you. Said the girl in a whisper, and she pulled the Lumas close and hugged them. Aww. From that day on, star bits, the, the star bits no longer fell from the girl's eyes. The comet set forth for the girl's home planet, its long tail blazing proudly behind it. Final chapter. With its many Lumas and telescopes, the comet was quite a sight to behold. The girl and the Lumas were proud to call it home. Where is this room in the observatory? <laughs> this is not what the kitchen looks like. <laughs> they remodel over the centuries. <laughs> At a welcoming party for a new Luma, the girl gathered everyone in the kitchen and said in a loud Pardon me, said in a louder voice than usual. Alright everyone, let's make a cake! A cake sprinkled with star bits, then it will be a star cake. The Lumas excitedly began to gather the ingredients. <laughs> Look at the little Luma in the thing. That's a chubby one. Yeah. As she watched the Lumas- It's like, ah! <laughs> yeah. As she watched the Lumas scurry about, the girl smiled and thought to herself. This is my family now and I will stay with them until they're ready to leave the nest. And when they do leave, I'll see them off with a smile. Because that's what makes a mother happiest. And over time, Rosalina developed the powers of, of the ancients. <laughs> that night, when the girl lay down to sleep, a soft light enveloped her and reminded her of the blue planet she once called home. But it would be nice to return home once every 100 years to nap in my favorite sleeping nook. Why that arbitrary number? I don't know. <laughs> the comet carrying the Lumas and the girl and the girl continues on its journey to this very day. With more family members in okay, air quotes. <laughs> with more family members in tow that can be counted, it's said that the comet visits the girl's home planet once every hundred years its proud white tail glittering in the sky. The end. That's all. That's all. My story's finished. Rosalina, what happened to the little girl? Oh, she died. Um, <laughs> so yeah. By the next issue. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the end of the storybook. We we pretty much said what our thoughts in it already, so I, I don't think we should we need, really need to go over that much again. But yeah, it's a nice little side thing. I, I again, I do think it is a little bit out of place for a Mario game, but I do I do think it's nice that they tried doing something like this once. But I don't really think it's something that really needs to be a regular thing. I I don't think this is some. This kind of like deep storytelling stuff, I think, should be 
left for like RPGs and the side games more than like the mainline stuff, but yeah, it is know. charming. I, think, I don't know. I think the New Donk City section of Odyssey needed to have like a deep political plot with Pauline's rise to power. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be something? Uh, like, just make it like House of Cards. Yeah. Um. Good. I had well, things to. That, that was it. Yeah. I have other things. I had other things to say, but I can't think of anything. Uh, right now. Um, it's a cute story and if like my cynical, my cynicism addled brain can't seem to process some of the plot direction. <laughs> Do you, this I'm, is why Nintendo doesn't bother with, sit with deep plots. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to any of this, Jason? It's a nice story. <laughs> Is that I got it? a little distracted as well, sorry. <laughs> I kind of let you guys do story time on your own most of these sessions. I mean, that's that's fine, but... I mean, do you have anything to say about the story itself, or, like... I, forgot I, li from the... I think it's nice to give them a backstory. Mm. Yeah. Like, explain, how, like, what's the point of all the, the common observatory in of itself. Right. Yeah, I do like that. I assume, yeah, I assume there's not much else to really add. So, um, if we're yeah, if we're done with this, then yeah, that's the end of the storybook. So and all that. So yeah, next time we'll um get the remaining purple coin stars, finish the game for real, um, and um, earn a copy. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah see you guys next time hopefully for the bye last bye. hopefully for the last session bye bye